what we're going to do here is I'm going to use the Arduino welder. Now it's currently connected to a 5,000 milliamp hour 50C battery pack at 11.1 volts. So it's currently running around 12.6 nominal at full charge. Um, and you can see in there, there's a 300 amp fuse there. And this is the Arduino welder. Now, you can select whether it auto pulses. You can set the delay for auto pulse, how long it takes it before it auto pulses. You can also set it to, currently it's turning on manual pulse. You can set the weld pulse duration. So in this case, since we're going to try for a triple weld, I'm going to go for 30 milliseconds. You can also set the uh, percent of pulse time that the short pulse is. I'm going to use 12 percent. It's about even. And the little connector here that's going down here is my foot pedal. Makes it a lot more convenient when doing big battery packs. So what I've got here is a double connection, which we're also going to do as a triple connection on the next weld. Uh, or I could do it all at once. Actually, since that's was the question you asked, I'm going to artificially make it a crossed triple right there in the center. All right, so there we go. A crossed triple weld. I had to find something tall to set the camera up on. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the nickel tabs back on there and overlapping so you can get an idea of what a triple weld will look like here. Overlap there. All right, so where the cross is, there are now three layers. So there's your triple weld. I've set this to 30 milliseconds, which I hope will be sufficient for this particular weld. I'm going to set the probes um, about three millimeters apart and then strike. Push the foot pedal. There we go. There's the weld. Push the foot pedal again. Ooh, that was really stuck. There we go. Alright, so there it is. Fully triple welded through uh, top of the battery. Pick this up here so you can see closely. And it's a good penetrative weld all the way through. These are not going anywhere. If I had to pull this apart, I'd have to grind it off at this point. So there you go. That's a 30 millisecond pulse on the Arduino welder through three nickel strips. And uh, hopefully that's enough to tell you about the power of this. And again, the setup is a 5,000 milliamp hour 50C cell um, and the welder. All right.